Hi all, in this video we're going to continue working on things that I would expect you to be able to do with the arc lengths or x and y coordinates associated with our special values points. So, in this one I'm not giving you the arc length, I'm giving you the point. And you should, for starters, recognize that that is associated with one of our special values, our special arc lengths. So the first part of this question is to identify three different arc lengths, t values, that would end at this point. So this point is negative one half root three over two, so it's in quadrant two. The y coordinate is a little bigger than the x coordinate, again, ignoring signs there. So we're gonna be a little closer to the y axis. So it's this one, and if you're getting a good feel for your unit circle, you should be able to spot that that's a 2 pi over 3. So here's pi over 3, 2 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 3 is one possibility. This gets back to that whole coterminal business. Yes, 2 pi over 3 lands here. Can you name other points that are other arc lengths that land there? So I would say starting from 1, 0 always, uh, picking out a negative 1 is a good plan. So if we go negative 1, 2, 3, 4 pi over 3, we would land at the same point. And to get another one, you just go another lap around the circle, whichever direction, or multiple laps around the circle. So if I start at uh, 2 pi over 3 and go another lap in the same positive direction, a full lap around is 6 pi over 3, so I would end up at 2 pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3, which is 8 pi over 3. You could also continue the other direction, so go negative 4 pi over 3 and then another 6, which would give you a negative 10 pi over 3 and you can go around as many times as you want. Okay, then we're supposed to be able to find the value of sine, secant, and tangent. So even if it's not a special value, you should be able to tell me the values of the, the all six trig functions given both the x and the y coordinate, but we can definitely do it with a special value. So we can say that sine of t, and I'm leaving it t because it could be any of these or other arc lengths, so I'll just leave that open. The value of sine, sine once your y coordinate, so it's going to be root 3 over 2. The value of secant, secant is 1 over cosine. We know that our x coordinate is negative 1 half, so cosine is negative 1 half. The reciprocal of negative 1 half is a negative 2. Tangent, tangent can be just a little bit of work. Tangent is sine over cosine, so root 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 half, which is equal to root 3 over 2 times negative 2 over 1. And the 2's cancel, and it looks like tangent is equal to negative root 3. And you can do a little quick check on tangent, just a visual check. Remember, tangent is slope, so if you draw a line through the origin in your point, it should have slope that looks like it could be negative root 3, and I think that seems perfectly reasonable for that. It's definitely negative. It's definitely a little bigger uh, ratio than just 1 to 1. It's not a slope of negative 1. It's deeper than that, so negative root 3 seems great. Okay, so for the next one, I'm giving you the arc length, so we're back to that. So first question is, can you find the x and y coordinates of the point on the unit circle associated with this t value? Okay, so if I'm on my unit circle, and I've got negative 5 pi over 6, remember that negative 6 pi over 6 is halfway around, it's a negative pi, so we want to be a single pi over 6 short of that, so it's a negative 5 pi over 6 down in quadrant 3. This should relate back to our pi over 6 in quadrant 1, which has coordinates root 3 over 2, 1 half. So again, remember, if you're at pi over 6, you're closer to the x-axis. Your x is a little bigger than your y, so the root 3 has to go with your x. Okay, so these are the coordinates of the point. Oh, hold on, getting ahead of myself. Those are not the coordinates of the point. We were looking for negative 5 pi over 6. So negative 5 pi over 6 is straight across through the origin, and you should get a negative root 3 over 2, negative 1 half. Okay, so now we know the t value. 
and we know the x and y coordinates, so we want to be able to figure out the value of sine, uh, cosecant, and cotangent. Oh, sorry, cosine, cosecant, and cotangent. Okay, so cosecant of negative 5 pi over 6. We were told that that was the uh, exact arc length, unlike the last one where it could have been one of many. So I'll go ahead and write it in. Cosine is your x-coordinate, so it's going to be a negative root 3 over 2. Cosecant is 1 over sine. So if our y value is negative 1 half, the reciprocal of that is negative 2, which means cosecant is negative 2. And then cotangent of negative 5 pi over 6 is going to be uh, our cosine over sine. So it's negative root 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 half, which means you're getting negative root 3 over 2 multiplied by negative 2. So your negatives cancel, your 2's cancel, and you're getting a root 3. Okay, so given a special value, you should be able to find the value of any of the trig functions and the x and y coordinates, which of course you need to find the values of the trig functions. Given x and y coordinates, you should be able to, x and y coordinates that correspond to a special value, you should be able to find a bunch of special value arc lengths that match with that, and you should be able to find the values of all six trig functions. All right, thanks for watching.